Grone Geeks, welcome back. Majin Vegeta here. Unfortunately, some of my uh, video saving has not been doing the job that it intended to do. What you did miss was a boss battle with Lord Ochu. He's an optional boss, not really that big a deal, doesn't play a lot in the story. Uh, vanquished him. Then we vanquished the Sin Spawn that appears on the Kilika Temple Steps. We are currently at the Kilika Temple. We are about to see if we can obtain the Aeon for this temple, which by the theme, overall display theme of fire is very, very important. So now we're gonna head on up and see what happens. See if we get kicked out. The faith is below. Let's do it. The faith? You figure it out. First, the cloister of trials. Kamari, Waka, ready? Strength, everyone. Notice your name is not mentioned. Weird how that works. No. Yeah. Hey, what gives? You're not a guardian yet. Um, we'll be back as soon as we can, okay? You're one of us, but not really. Oh, so, sure, uh, soon. Like bye. tomorrow soon, I bet. Low blow. So now, while you're doing that, you can run around, try and get out. Can't do that. Can't go forward, because that's a giant hole, and you would die. So, uh, kind of just an uncomfortable point where we're just waiting for the thing to come back up. So now we're going to try and leave. Oh, no. You're going to proceed towards this. Where's Yuna? And it's Donna and Bartello again. Then they had a bit of a run-in. Here. Donna's another summoner. Hey, I'm not a guardian, so I'm not supposed to go in, right? Not really classy lady, if you can tell mm, by her outfit. But I mean, hey, guardian, you work you it, say? you got it. Hey, wait! <laughs> uh, let me go! The dude didn't miss gym day. You are not gonna stand a chance. Go! Hey! What's a big idea? Just a little game. Huh? <sighs> Yep, now I'm on a quest. I'm this in trouble bad. again. Really bad. But at least I can show you guys how to proceed through the temple. I'll just run straight ahead. I mean, at this point, they already threw you down there. Waiting here it has no optional about. thing on it. I'm sure no guardian. Can't go back up, though. Well, I guess it's too late now. Well, yeah, I mean, you got thrown down here. Might as well just keep... Breaking all the rules. <laughs> the whole theme of fire here. We are going to take this Kilika Sphere. Notice the fire stops. Only one hole. Pretty easy to figure out where it's gonna go. Now watch it. Bam! We burnt the door down. Take the sphere. And then what's remaining of the door falls out of the way. It's out of your path. Now, you're going to take this and put this up here. And a glyph appears. Touch that glyph. And set you off the side. Let's give you a nice little light. Uh huh. Glyph. Touch that bad boy. Uh, moving forward, you see this here? I'm gonna grab you. Take that part off. Grab this guy. Uh, place him in the other hole on the wall. Grab this guy, your glitz here. Glitz here. It's gonna go in the hole where the sphere previously was. Breaks the connection line. Bam! Just like that, you can complete the temple literally right here. All you'd have to do is grab a Kilika Sphere from back there, put it in that door, take it in, take it out, you're good to go. However, we have a destruction sphere. And I am going to press this. Step on it, you get a big flash. 
and then this podium comes up. This mechanic is a little touchy, so you gotta be absolutely precise with it. Push it all the way to the ledge. It will not go over. Push it sideways. Right over to about where you get that um, flashing sphere, and then you're gonna push it the rest of the way. Knocks it down. Once you get your uh, Kiliko sphere back in there, if I could remember to at least do that part right. Pushing the uh, pedestal directly over that part, more important. What's this? Spear shape recess. Boom. It's gonna burn its way down through the floor. We're gonna grab this Kiliko sphere, take it down the wall. I'm gonna put that one in the door. Now the door is on fire. We're gonna go grab the destruction sphere we opened up. You notice that nice little sphere-shaped hole we just put in the ground. What you hear? See what happens. Blew up the damn wall. Red armlet. Very expensive, very nice weapon for Kamari. Uh, we're gonna take this sphere. And now you can run up the stairs with the sphere. Temple is completed. Go talk to your party. Whoa, and they're whoa, mad whoa. at you. <sighs> Rightfully so. It was Donna and that big muscle head man. Yuna will be the one to suffer the consequences. Uh, what consequences? She could be excommunicated. A fun thing to do, if you don't like your main character, you walk up to Kamari, <gasps> and he will push your ass back. He wants nothing to do with you moving forward. We'll talk to Waka. Just wait. So what's in there anyway? The Faith, remember? Oh yeah, that thing, right. The Faith are people who gave their lives to battle sin. Yevon took their souls, willingly given from their still living bodies. Assisted suicide. Huh? For now, cause. They live forever, trapped in statues. But when a summoner beckons, the souls of the Faith emerge once again. That's what we call an Aeon. All that in this room? Kind of important. So, kind of big so deal. So, what's Yuna doing in there? She prays with all her heart for a way to defeat Sin. The chamber beyond is a sacred place. Only summoners may enter. What? Even guardians can't go? It's taboo! Like me being uh -huh. in here. You can try and leave. You know, will pop out. Bam, you nailed it. All tired and weak. But, is she there successful? Was something I didn't tell anyone else that day. That song we heard there, in the temple, I knew it from my childhood. It was proof that Spira and Xanarkin were connected. Somehow. At least to me it was. Maybe that's why suddenly I felt like I just wanted to go home. I tried Still to say something that. to tell them, but the words wouldn't come. You're an accessory to the story anyway, at this point in time. You're not even a guardian. You're just some dude they found in the water. Decided to take in, because they're nice. You get the S the Aeon, I almost said Esper. Aeon Ifrit. I'm not gonna change his name because He's a nice little callback to the previous Final Fantasy games. And now, we are going to exit the temple and try and head back towards the boat that brought us here. Pay attention to the dude in the back. Not, not them, that guy running around in the background. You'll see him again. Very important tidbit going on there.
The struggles of being an attention whore. Once you're famous, it all goes to your head, huh? I thought I had put my feelings for Xanarkin behind me. I don't know why so many people are wearing knee pads and elbow pads. That's a weird feature trend. But they trend. were there, and they grew inside me bigger and bigger, till I was just about ready to burst. But then again, if you told me I was wearing a mask for most of 2020, I'd tell you you're nuts. Are, are you okay? I... I don't know. What do you want to do? To scream real loud? <laughs> Further proof, your main character is a little on the fritz. I'm gonna go forward with this party, see if I can get a couple abilities knocked out of the way here real quick. If not, I'll run to the save sphere, stop recording, and then we'll come back with that part knocked out of the way so you guys don't have to watch me grind for a character. This gameplay is mostly for, um, just content purposes. I want you to take a turn. I definitely need you to take a turn. And I want you to get close to finishing this battle. Nope, oh, not dead yet. And Waka with the finish. Waka is nowhere close to leveling up, so we are definitely going to take a brief pause for the cause, and uh, once we get that save sphere, we're going to take a little break. After yet another battle. Um, there's no real purpose to um, leveling your characters further here, or to... Um, Try and get them to overdrives at this point in time, so don't worry too much about that. The next couple boss battles are very easy, so you'll be good to go as long as you have a decent head on your shoulders about strategy, and don't use Yuna, like I do, as a battering ram. Focus primarily on your different elements and what works well against what. Basically, make Lulu as strong and badass as possible. Lulu forward, get you more HP. You know. Now, got 700. With that, we are going to save. I've got that finished. Do this, save. Thank you, Gorny Geeks, for checking in to Majin Vegeta Plays Final Fantasy X. Make sure to check us out on through the YouTube page, which I'm sure is where you found this. Be sure to check out the group, Grown A Geeks, under the same name. Amazing geek content there. And then check us out on Breaker. we got a lot of big things going on there. Uh, Anchor will redirect you to Apple Podcasts, Breaker, Google Podcasts, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, or Spotify. It's where you can listen to us as the audio-only files from our YouTube videos. Gameplay, obviously, from this will not be moving there because this is a lot of visual. But thank you for your time, folks. Majin Vegeta plays Final Fantasy X. What is up, Geeks? Majin Vegeta here. We are now in Luka. Due to a glitch in one of my save files, all that you have missed so far is that the Besaid Orox, in a game that you do not get to see be played, beat the Albad Sykes who kidnapped Yuna, and your party consisting of Lulu, your main character Titus, and Kimari had to go rescue her. We have successfully completed our rescue mission and are now on our way to the finals where Waka is beating the hell up. Sure you all right, Cap. The game starts in a few minutes. You sure you okay? We're playing the Gores too. <clears throat> yeah, he's probably got like cracked ribs or something. Miss me? Someone had to. Lady Yuna, are you okay? All this because of me. 
I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, how can you let some out bed kidnap you? Hidden racism. Hey, let it go, all right? Oh, and I forgot Don't to mention, anymore, okay? in the last video, trouble. we discovered Yuna's <laughs> uncle is Albed, which means her mom was Albed. Spoilers! Not really. But uh, that's the only other major tidbit of information that you missed. We went looking for Sir Orn in a cafe and never found him. So, they just wish me luck. So we gotta figure out who's doing what. Uh, Please don't tell anyone about Yuna's lineage. I just told my subscribers. Suck it. Talk to Waka. Mm. Uh, the game starts soon. No time for warm ups. Ready? Let me at him. All right. Us versus the Luca goers. Weird how they kind of foreshadowed that, right? I got something to tell you, boys. After this game, I'm retiring. <laughs> I promised Spoilers. myself this would be my last tournament. Win or lose, I'm quitting Blitzball. But you know, since we're here, we might as well win. Mind a bench. I wouldn't put you on the bench. I put somebody else on the bench. I'm warm on a bench. He's taking my place. Waka's a little beat up because he's saying that. Because he should All be right, playing. Boys, let's win this one. Let's he's like your second or third best player. Let's play it. <gasps> I wonder if I get to make the lineups. I saw you floating there, on the sphere. Oh, hey, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> Typical oh. machoism. <sighs> That's where we all want to be. You really gave it your all, didn't you? <laughs> Indeed, he all right, did. Alright boys, what are we gonna do? Please! Bata, Walker. the team leader. Not really. <sighs> Do I get to set up the lineups? This is it, folks. In just a few minutes, the championship game. My best memories are here. Waka, captain of the Aurochs. In indistinguishable handwriting. Looks very similar to what a Kingdom Hearts does. But who could have imagined a championship game between these two teams? Not impartial. Our legendary Luca Goers going against. Ooh, ooh, the who is it? Ill -fated you know who that is. Oh, like making, Baba. Casually strolling to watch the game. That's what he does. Oh, look at Orin. <laughs> and the animated peoples. Kind of looks like an 8 bit. Time to flex, everybody. If you actually win this game, you're crazy good at Blitzball, because this one is difficult as hell, considering where your team's at and the skill level of the uh, Govers. <laughs> Big Sin is the petty version of you. It's okay, Bixen. I have a soul, Ginger. We at Grunny Geeks do not accept bullying in any form. However, for video games, taunting, I will be 
more than up to task. Yeah, I get the ball first. You hit. Uh, triangle, get manual A. Get this going right. Usually, offensive wings, the guys on the top and the bottom of the red front row, not high on attack. So, what I try and do is get them to attack, get the defender to latch on right here. He misses the tackle, thank god. And throw it to your main character, because he's literally your offense at this point in time. Just him. Nobody else. Yes! Survived. Shoot that. It's all about um, basic math here. And there's a goal right off the bat. Less than a minute in. That's how it's done. But here's the hard part. Your team sucks on defense. <laughs> like there's no way of sugarcoating it. You guys are just, you're just bad. Because the attack goes across the door, the blocking will go across literally everything else. And yeah, that's that's about all. Oh, no break. Letting him just sue after block. Let's hope I get something on in here, folks. Got it. Oh yes. Got it! Zero, zero chance of getting it. Oh, Vata! Where did you go? Alright. Shit. Probably gonna give the ball back up. Vata is horrendous. On offense. Alright, uh, somebody go play defense. Anybody? Anybody? No? Shite. Oh, he shoots again! Come on, Vata! Oh, yep, that's a goal. Shit. Well, tie game. Let's see if I can get a goal in before halftime. Every time after a goal, a ball goes to your uh, midfielder. So, just word to the wise on that. Let's break to Avis. Get him out of the way. Pass it over to Vegito. Oh yeah. That worked out. Shouldn't have, but did. Oh, somehow Abus get in. But he's not gonna do anything that's worthwhile. So we're gonna shoot. See what happens. What? <laughs> Oh god. That is some serious horseshit. <laughs> I have a full two point advantage. Nothing happened. No break. Okay, he's shooting from mid sphere, because why not? And this time you actually get a hand on it, so good for you. Zero. Most underrated player on your team is Jasu. Once again, after distracting their player, got a ball all the way in. Now I'm gonna have to break to Dorum, which is no small task. Yep, lost the ball. Because somehow my stats don't matter, but theirs do. No break. Passing it. I do not want the ball going to Vixen right now. Okay. Zero statistical advantages for me thus far. Everyone else? Yeah, all of them. Good thing is, they're gonna run out of time to score a goal. Because they're gonna try. Half time. Went tied. Scored within the first minute. Nothing else after. And it's half time! The goers are just playing great, Baba. Really great. Well, they're tied with us, but whatever. A 
players get stat boost based upon their level. It's like my endurance, shooting, passing, and HP went up. Keep us now slightly less useless. Zone defense, boy. <sighs> what about me? Get the ball and just shoot like crazy. Goers are going down. Yeah. Shoot like crazy. Down. All right. All right. He said the sphere shot. You knocked away. Got the jack shot. How come I can't change what position people are playing? Dorm, alright. Who's got a lead defense? Oh, Grab's got a lead defense. That's not good. No, you play you. You play you. You play you. Maybe those three on marks. Everybody else just play normal. If I don't get the ball to start, I'm probably losing. There is an interruption, like... Oh! There's a chance. Okay. I don't want to fight you right now. Okay, that works. I am not going to risk it. Inject shot knocks away two defenders, so there's that. Plus you get the plus five for your shooting bonus. So, hope this shit works. Less than a minute in, scored again. Grab better be cheering for my team. He's gonna shoot from half sphere. He's gonna shoot from half sphere. All right, and probably score too, knowing my luck. Oh! Threw it to the last guy on my team and want to have the ball. Hmm. No problem. works. Four, three, nail it. Let's see if we can get another goal just to seal the game. Another goal would do it. Oh! Yes! Second half, way better than the first half. Yeah. Cheer for me, biatches. You hear them chanting for Waka. They really, really love Waka. So if someone leaked his retirement to the press. Everyone seems to be calling for Waka, folks. Say, 
Hey, where is that player going? To go get Waka. He's leaving the sphere pool. He may be injured. Yeah, yeah, three goals. Horribly beat up, just torn up about this. To be honest, I did kind of feel left out, but it really was the Oryx and Waka show after all. Because you're a side character to this whole song and dance. I wonder what's happening. The crowd is going wild. Oh, it's Waka. He's back on the field and ready to go. The Aurochs seem glad to have him back. Hey, five. Very nice. Very nice. Ball goes to them because I scored last. Oh, wow. Dang. Hard to ass tackle. And then a walk of. Guess what you need expected on it, but it's not gonna be enough. Why are they passing it to a defender way back there? They're trying to score. It's hard scoring two goals in less than two minutes, but all right. Yeah, you're not likely to get past just you. Break to Abus. See if I can get a goal out of somebody else. My other def shooter is like wide open maybe win I may win by three goals breaking a dorm see if what happens nope ain't breaking it nobody they're breaking me get in there Dato either way I'm killing clock so that's fine I'm wide open. I'm just gonna pass the ball all the way across the sphere. Kill time. It's cheap, but it works. They just pass the ball back and forth. Seal the W. Orox are the champion. Luca sucks, everybody. I guess. <laughs> Not saying more of this story. Ooh, we get a strength sphere out of it too. Nifty. Unbelievable! The Aurochs win, folks. This is one for the record books. Anytime it offers you to save at a random ass point in time, I'm just gonna mark a new save data just in case this video gets corrupted, just like the last one. He retires champion Waka. Now both of them are in the sphere together. And notice there are now fiends in the sphere because we can't have nice things. Yeah. I'm gonna 
and use extractability on all these guys, because I need all the ability spheres. Oh, and I changed uh, my character's overdrive, how it charges, I earned the uh, warrior mode, so that's another fact. Extractability again. I believe you earn more when you get a kill. Ooh, overkill. <laughs> and now there's two more. Uh, let's take out B. Why not? Because you're dead. I'm wipe you out next. Overkill again, damn. That's how we're doing it. And one more. For good measure. Keep on extracting some abilities. And you're dead. But wait! There's more! With a special limited time offer, there are three of you motherfuckers. Dead. Dead. Dead by or killed, no less. Oh look, three more this time instead of just two. Well, D is gonna go first, so he's gonna die first. Overkill. Regular kill. Two more for reinforcements. Here's dead. Dead. Right, notice no more reinforcements came. So we are good to go. Dead. This one I'm just gonna regularly kill because I don't care. Battle one. Complete. Ten ability spheres. Nailed it. What's happening? There he is. You want some? Come get some. Thank you for your time. Oren. Sir Oren. So, you do know him? Yeah, best guardian there ever was. You're damn right. I remember these guys from uh, Killick? I mean, not Killick. My goodness. Besaid? Yeah. He wants some of you. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, we're gonna put a dark attack on him, make him less of a threat. Look at that. Misses across the board. So. Horn come across with a 289. Yeah, let's finish him. No. Sonic Boom again. Big whiff. Yeah. Oof, 197, not very good. Horn for the finish. Good job, everybody. It's like, ah, oh, crap. Hey, give me a break. Party could see it, but 
This is where you see the guy with the blue hair. Where he's introduced in the video, they got corrupted. Just remember, blue hair. Anime. Usually means... Dun dun dun... Look at Orange Ant. I mean, not. Look at Seymour's Ant just laying the smack down. Basically, every time its head rears back, something's dying. Show off. Seymour just slaughtered everything. Now we're about to get down some deep truths, folks. Deep truths. You're really leaving, Captain? If you lose this game instead Shouldn't of the trophy, he first? he'll hand over his Yula blitz ball. Me with her now. He still uses that one as weapon, though. Some bed. Yeah, but. Come on, look sharp! The blitz season just started. Don't make those faces, yeah? That's a big ass trophy. Well, see ya, boys. You'll be good. Captain. Um, I can't hear you! Captain! Go figure. Are you sure? Never liked long goodbyes anyway. Sorry for making you wait, Yuna. I have some promises to keep, yeah? From now on, I'm your full-time guardian. Then welcome back, Sir Waka. Good to have you with us. Hey. It's good to be back, yeah? You never left, stupid. I never understood this part. So, any news on what happened? Always ask Lulu what's going Not on. Really. She knows. We don't know where the fiends came from. Maester Micah is safe and sound, thanks to Maester Seymour. That's about it. Maester Seymour's Aeon. It was so powerful. You're damn right it is. And then here comes the big one. Hey, you! Don't just stand there! All of this is your fault! Getting swallowed by Sin, ending up here in Spira, not being able to go back to Xanarkin, everything, everything! I'm telling you, it's all your fault! <laughs> An orange just freaking laughs at you. <laughs> no shame in that man's game. Who are you, anyway? You knew my old man, didn't you? Yeah. And you also knew Yuna's father? That's correct. Hey man, there's no way. That's just impossible. Just Nothing like you being here. Impossible about it. Jacked, Roska, and I. Together we defeated Sin ten years ago. Then I went to Xanarkand. Where I watched over you. Timeline doesn't match, right? So that one day I could bring you to Spira. Why did it have to be me? Jack asked me to. Weird, huh? Is he alive? It depends on what you mean by alive. Beg. Objection. He is no longer human. Ooh. But then, 
I felt something object there in that shell. Couldn't you? You must have felt him when you came in contact with Sin. There it is. It can't be. Your dad is Sin. It is. Sin is Jekt. What? The first time I heard that one. Yikes. Oh, no, that's ridiculous. No way. I don't believe you. So I can't believe they dropped this bomb so early but in the game. the truth. You'll see for yourself. Come with me. If I say no... You'd be an idiot. Every story must have an ending. I don't care about your stories! I see. Sorry you feel that way. And there's Orn with a harsh truth. Fine then. Come or don't come, it's your decision. What am I supposed to say? You tell me it's my decision! But I don't have a choice, do I? You're the only one who can tell me what's going on anyways! I have to go with you, I have to! Orin's the only one who knows what's going on ever. Irritating. I know. Or are you afraid? Both, probably. If I found out my dad was cause of, you know, mass oh. terror. Oren. Will I ever go home? Back to Xanarkin? That's up to Jekt. <laughs> your dad is in charge of your fate. The one who is an asshole to you I'm your whole life. For my services to Yuna. Come. Weird how that puzzle fit all together just like that. No strings attached. Well, let's go offer our services, because why not? I mean... Take my level up and move forward. Ooh, accuracy. Very nice. Um, Orin, yeah. A lot of HP in this sphere. Grid, a lot of HP in the sphere grid. Um, what I am going to do while we're here is I'm going to sign the Blitzball players that I want from this town and then not play because that would ruin the quality of the game. Keep it pretty short, sweet, to the point. There's one more cutscene, and then I can call this one a video wrap. So what you're going to do, if you want the best buzzball team possible, is you're going to head up this way. Head like you're going to the Luca Theater. This guy. This is the Litz. Oh, wait. I can't. Uh, okay. Scratch everything I just said in regards to that. You have to wait till after this next cutscene assignment. Well, you head to this theater anyway. Pick up your Albed primer. So good for you. We got your primer. And we head over here. And we're gonna go follow the red arrows this time. Follow what the game wants you to do. But you sign that guy's a litz at the other area. Then you would head up here. Then if you're paying it in the oh, I was gonna say in the paying attention the last video, but the last video got hacked. So this one you would sign Jamal. He's the best goalie that is available on the free agent market. There's nobody really need to sign anywhere else, so let's head on up to the crazy scene. The scene drives me fucking nuts. I think he's gonna stay here. Sir Oren knows him, apparently. You were right. He did meet someone he knew. Do you think he'll find a way back to Xanarkand? In any case, I'll miss having him around. He's still in town, isn't he? I think I'll go see him. Oh! Whoa! Sir Oren! Everybody just reacts like they're missing him.
Yuna. Sir. I wish to become your guardian. Do you accept? Uh. You're serious? You refuse. <laughs> no, no. You're damn right we you don't accept, refuse. Right, everyone? Uh, of course. No problem at all. But why? I promised Braska. Making a lot of promises in Orin. You promised my father? He said that. Thank you, Sir Orin. You're welcome to join us. And Scratch, it's not this scene that annoys me, it's the next one. And he comes oh. too. Hi, guys. Uh, howdy. I don't know why you'd be weird now. You were weird in the beginning. This one I promised Jack. Is Sir Jack alive? Can't say. Haven't seen him in ten years. <laughs> Gives you the truth. I see. Doesn't give them anything. You'll meet eventually. <laughs> yes, I'm looking forward to. But still, kind of gives them a truth in that. What's our itinerary? Quickly size up the group, figure out who was Where in charge, and hey, got to the bottom of the come truth. With me. Really? Not now. Um, you guys can talk here. You're a real guardian now. Would you meet so all? <laughs> Since talk. Anyway, I knew you. We'll be taking the Meehan High. Remember, you're suffer. Remember, you're suffering from sin's tox. No one's gonna tell me anything. You still won't talk to me. After everything we've been through. This scene's annoying. Hey, what? I usually sit down the headset and walk away at this point in time. You got pretty good. You sound sad. Yeah, maybe. Want to scream? Hmm. <laughs> I really don't think that's gonna help this time. It might. You don't know. You know what? Hmm? It's embarrassing to say this myself, but summoners and their guardians are kind of like Spira's ray of light. Yeah, maybe. A lot of people in Spira depend on us. I learned to practice smiling when I'm feeling sad, you know. <laughs> I know it's hard. Yeah, I understand. I think. Right, now let's see what you can do. Huh? Come on. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> this is weird. Next, try laughing out loud. What? Come on, show me. <laughs> Such a weird friendship. I hate you all. <laughs> Painful crap ever. But I probably shouldn't laugh anymore. But he's got a lot of issues he's got to get out of his head. <laughs> you can find out your dad's killing everybody. Shut up! God. Weirdos. I would have hated to have to do this scene multiple times. <laughs> Everyone else is probably staring at you guys like, oh, cool. Too funny. These are the idiots we have in charge. <laughs> um, thank you. Huh? I want my journey to be full of laughter. I bet you do. Okay. If we should get separated. Just whistle. 
Now she's flirting with you money. back. I promise. It's so weird. So, so weird. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Not judging too much. Well, let's go. Finally. Everyone's just staring at you. What are you looking at? We were just worried you guys might have gone crazy. We did. Sorry. Well then, all right. Now, we will go to the temple at Jose. Will we? And Is that where guardians, we're going? Look at all the dots. Don't forget to smile. So many dots. Ain't nobody got time for that. I see him running up the stairs. Now let's get to the save sphere and we'll take a quick pause for the cows. After talking to this random dude who's walking by me. Yeah, high potion. Thank you, sir. Boom. See? Safe spheres. And I can now sign people and play Blitzball. But with that... Thank you, folks, for tuning in. Majin Vegeta, 